hello welcome to econometrics melody in this tutorial we'll deal with join by cross and uh, expose command in stata let's begin with this main stata interface active is time press control 8 for activating data editor and control 9 for activating to file so the first command we're going to deal with is join by join by forms all pairwise combinations within groups so let, let us create a data for this um the first the data set it contains province the variables it contains are province district question one and question three so let us create and save this by the sort abbreviated form of province and district and let us create another data set with a variable branch district q2 q3 and q4 so in in this province dist data we have district as a common and it will act as a unique identifier and we have question number three also come on so let us create this second data set as well and let us save it by the abbreviated form of district and branch now let us keep the first data set province this in as our master and let us join this using district and branch and here district is our common identifier and let us see what happens and let us sort it for appropriateness so these variables province district question number one and question number three they are the variables from first data set or province this data set and district branch q2 and q4 they are the variables from second data set or this branch data set now let me explain this this is very simple we know join by it forms all pairwise combinations in groups so if you say they are equal the only difference is this branch so for this district we have this province and the, the branches are different so basically for this different group we are assigning the same value the legitimate value okay and let us again group this so we have this same value and again for different branch so this two different branch but this branch these two different branch they lie on same district and this district lie on same province so this is very simple in province one let us see this observation so branch a lies on province one and in district one as well so it is due to this difference in q2 so this is 12 and 15 so for each branch we have assigned this value and is this is a simple join by operation so the missing values of the master is not replaced or updated by anything so we'll come into that after some time so let us see another resemblance so this seem to be equal and it is only due to this difference branch a that lies in first district and first province and the next one if you try to search so this is equal so they, they are equal up to this point this missing value also equal so it is due to this difference in branches so district two it has three different branches group is this bb it lies in second district and it is in province one similarly this hh also lies in second district in province one and so on now they they are same again it is due to difference in this branches again so the observation q1 and q3 they are also same and we are matching this and let us say this as well so they are equal it is due to this difference in branch again and if you look at this so we are forming all pairwise combinations within groups so if you look this they are equal again it is due to this difference in branches and again if you look at this they are equal and again it is difference due to this branches district is a unique identifier so based on this we are actually assigning the values of province q1 and q3 to the branches through this 
branches and other observations through this unique identifier. So let us see this unmatched command. So we have ignored all the unmatched, unmatched actually unique identifier. So if you want to keep the masked as well as both the masked and unmasked, then you see what happens. Your observations will increase. And for the description, you can say this, take help of this command. So only in using data. So this observation is only in using data. And uh, this observation is only in master. So this is the observation only in master. And this observation is only in master. This is very simple. And if you want to see masked and masters, the observations that are perfectly matched with the unique identifier as well as the observation that is only in master. So this is the data set. We have only 24 observations now. And if you want to see the masked and observations that are masked with, and those are only in using, that is second data set. So if you say this, so this is only in using, this observation is only in using, the rest of them are the perfect match with the unique key identifier or unique identifier in both of the data sets. Now let us try some of the variations again. So let us again try a simple join by and save it by join by simple. So there is a perfect match of the unique key identifier or unique identifier and we have not taken anything that does not match with the unique identifier in both of the data sets. Now let us use the update command update. So what happens? So it in the case of merge, so any value that is missing in the master that will be updated with the values from using for the same variables in both the data sets. So pay attention to this Q3. This Q3 variable, it is present in both the data sets. The missing values are updated. So these missing values were updated. And we have saved this by the name joined by update. And let us now update and replace. So the common variables in data set first and second, this the values will be updated by the values in second data sets. So let us run this and please pay attention to the variable Q3. See, these were updated and these values were missing in both the data sets. Again, review this. This was our first data set. This was our second data set. And we used a simple join by command. So the, our master data set was first this and our using data set is this. So the simple join by command resulted in this data set or values. Then after the join by with update, it resulted in this value. The missing values are updated. and update and replace this will replace it this will fill the missing values also as well as uh, replace the values in the common variables by the values of second data now let us try our next command that is cross it forms every pairwise combination of two data sets so let us create two data sets the first data set it contains three variables with four observations and the second variable it contains two variables with four observations now if we run so let us use our first data set that contains three variables and four objects is our master and let us use the command cross and we use our second data set that we have said saved earlier this data set for using okay and let us see what happens and let us save this result as well and we had used this as our first variable, sorry, first data set. This is our second data set. And we, this is the result after using cross. So let me explain this. First of all, let us sort it and it will be very easy. So what does this do? Again, cross function, cross command. This will form every pairwise combinations of two data sets. So if you see this is the first observation. A12 and 10. This is the first observation in first data set, and that is combined. Actually, we formed a pair with the this is the second entire second data set. So each observation in the first data set this forms 
appear with the entire second data set so this is our third observation and this forms appear with the second data set actually a combination and this is our last observation and it forms the pair or it is combined with the entire second data set so this is also very simple now let us try our next command expose so it is something like transpose it uh, converts columns into rows and rows into columns so this is our first data set and if we expose it so the row will be converted into column and column will be converted into row let us see what happens so these are numeric after transpose these are numerical values and these are the string values so there is a mismatch in the data type so that is why the strings values were avoided so we got this value and let us use this once again let me clear this and let me use this data set once again and let me you see the options now we are going to specify the var name so these var names are stored in one variable so underscore var name and then after format and if you see the format of this numeric values will also change so let us use this command now see underscore var name it stores the value of the variable name and the format of the numeric values that also changed so if you want to get your original data set you use this command simply expose and clear and you'll get your original data set where the string values are moved so this is our original value Please take your time in understanding this. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Econometrics Melody.